Hello everybody and welcome to the first episode of the Workbench Weekly, the video episode version of the Workbench Weekly newsletter found on the minecraftwb.com server website. Welcome everybody and here you can see an awesome visual of the server's newsletter and if you haven't read it please do so. But we're going to jump right in talking about some server updates. So Minecraft Beta 1.8 has been released and the server is mostly up to date and ready to go. Uh, you will notice though that the main world is currently frozen. You cannot build there because once 1.9 is released, the terrain generator was going to be slightly different. So we're going to wait for that to come out before we actually make any changes. And right now on the clip here, you can see one of the secret areas hidden in that main server world. So if you are on the main server, go ahead and check out and see if you can find this epically cool hidden little treasure. I'm not going to tell you where it is because that's part of the surprise and the fun. And I'm not going to show you any more than that. The server right now, though, does have an active creative free build, free build world, and you can build whatever you want, make some amazing things. Now, we do ask that you don't do anything silly like little houses or huts or march off these mega areas and then don't build anything. Uh, it is getting very crowded, and so we want to see the creative, awesome things, not just the plain Jane stuff that you could do any day on any survival server. So please make it stellar. For example, look at this giant marching band drum. This thing is epic, and the detail on it is fantastic. I really, really love it. I should have found out who the uh, creator was, but if you know, leave it in the comments. Now those amazing things that look great, we put them in our museum world. Right now you're seeing some of the pixel art, and then over here some of the 3D sculptures. We got, of course, all of the famous YouTube celebs in Minecraft uh, doing some great things, killing Endermen. We got the, I think, the Luckland family over there killing some pigs. We got the TARDIS. We got a spaceship. All sorts of great things going on. I love that little um, scarecrow with the pumpkin head there. You can see some Yogg's cast in the background. All in all, some really cool stuff. On the other side of the statues, we have our architecture. So you can see great pyramids, some awesome Asian-designed temple-type towers, uh, even some pirate ships. All in all, it's a fantastic museum, and so please go check it out and see all the great things that folks like you are making and building. Remember, though, just because you built it doesn't mean it gets to be put in the museum. It has to be awesome, creative, and amazing. So keep that in mind. We do have some staff and builder promotions. Adam SK648, Kemlar, and Zen Roey have all joined the administrative team. So congrats to them. If you see them, tell them good job. Abar and X50 Caligabi have been promoted to Master Builder. So we also have some featured builds here. What you're looking at right now is the Very Games logo. Very Games is a sponsor of Minecraft Workbench, and it's really a fantastic place to host a site if you want our server, if you want to have your own Minecraft server. Uh, that was built by soul darts and it was the 100th build in the museum now this giant ship you're looking at here is zen rose nix and i believe that's from uh, an online mmo i can't remember at the top of my head what it is leave in the comments if you know but this thing is massive and it's actually to scale and uh, as accurate as can be in minecraft it's so dark that when you go on land it casts a shadow that you can't see out of well, this last weekend we had our first survival challenge, and the survival challenge was really epic. Uh, it forced folks into two teams, the red team and the blue team. You'll see the red on your right and the blue on your left. And what they had to do is they had four hours to build a completely impenetrable fort where no monsters can enter or spawn inside. They had to build a 5 by 10 block farm at least for each of the following. Wheat, pumpkins, or melons, reeds, and cacti. They had to make a nether portal, a mine to bedrock, obsessive by foot, and minecart. A house large enough to sleep every team member in a proper bedroom. A set of full iron and diamond armor for every team member, a watchtower at least 30 blocks high with flaming blocks at the top, a crafted map with as much area as possible filled in, and they got bonus for ender pearls and slime balls. Congratulations to the blue team for winning. That was Play Cheese, Awesome Guy 1111, Hello to Me, Varco Commando, Heel Tripper, Jeruko, Wedgehog 95, Pox 999, Butter Jelly, Mania 999, Pack of Africa, and Legend RSA. So that's not the only thing going on. We have other great servers. Chunk Error is backing up, and so if you've been waiting for your chunks to come back, hop on on. Also, check out the forums, because you can now have up to three chunks of your own to control and add. So you just need to go on the forum, fill out the form, and then you will be ready to go. Note that it does take at least one full reset for that uh, new chunks to generate. So you're going to have to hold your patience and just wait about an hour, and your new chunks will be ready and waiting for you. You'll also note that the delete button does not work yet. Uh, that's my farm there, by the way. Hey, farm. Uh, the delete button does not work yet. That will be coming in a future version of Chunk Error. So you'll be able to delete a world you don't like and regenerate a new one. Creative is still off limits right now due to some issues with getting everything working with inventories. But it will be coming back soon, so don't you worry. Uh, you'll be seeing plenty of Chunk Error coming up in the future. 
And Chunk Air is not our only great server. We also have Purgatory, that off-maligned and misunderstood but amazingly awesome server and community that is part of the Minecraft Workbench family. Purgatory is looking amazing. We have this giant castle, which I try to fly through, but that gate does a great job in keeping me out. And so I back up and so give you a look at this. It used to be an NPC village, I believe. It was converted, rebuilt, and expanded massively. This is a giant, fully walled-in castle city that looks amazing. Fantastic. I can see the church there is going, and it's getting to be a really great looking server and world. So, if you are a member of Purgatory, congratulations. You're building an awesome community, and it's looking amazing. Well done, well done. Off to the side here, y'all uh, pan over just in the end here, you'll catch a really cool Pirate's Cove with flaming skull cave entrance. Nice job. All in all, Purgatory is looking fantastic. And yes, we even have one more server hidden away from most of the players. It's the administrator server, the admin server. And this is a little bit of a sneak peek so you can see what's going on in the admin server world. We too have our own great little walled-in world uh, with fantastic farms. Uh, all the breeding pens are set up, working well. Community mines, giant watchtowers, creeper-proof walls. All in all, it's epic and awesome. This is something that if you want to design your own city, this is a great example. It looks good, it's functional, and it's fantastic, and it was a lot of fun to build as a community. Uh, you'll notice there's not a lot of individual houses because, again, it's a community server for the admins, and for the most part, we all kind of hang out in the inn or one of the great halls. Again, admin server is looking awesome. I'm going to end with this and just kind of uh, pan around and show you some of the different things. Uh, we're going to end, I think, up in the enchanting slash mage tower of the admin town. And, you know, let me know what you think of this type of format for a Minecraft news story. Uh, this is uh, different for me. It's a lot of talking really fast, and so hopefully it's not too fast and none of the stories were missed. And if there's things you want me to cover, let me know. It is called the Workbench Weekly, Weekly because that is what it is called on the website. i got to be honest, I don't know if I'll be able to put a video version every week, uh, but maybe I'll do a best of and every few weeks grab some different stories. So let me know in the comments if you liked it, what else you want to see, and I'll be catching you all later. Thanks all for watching, and remember, keep on digging.